Hello there. It's your guy, Iru. Dianix Podcast. Got that held in the head today. Got a blank chest. Black shirt today. Happy Easter, guys. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Uh, sorry for the halftime and crunch time show today, man, because I was hanging out with the family. So there's not no reason to be sorry, but um, you know, I didn't I didn't let you guys know I was doing that. But I am gonna do um f- um the rest of the show from um halftime to crunch time. Uh seems to be a good game, 50 to 46. I did not see any of the games, so this is one of the few times. That I, I don't catch the whole game, so we're gonna watch it together. Right, so I don't really know what happened. It seemed like the Knicks were up um, for a little while in this game. Make sure I get the do not disturb popping off here. It looks like um, the Knicks did a, did a good job competing in this game. I, I saw that they were up at, at some points in the game, uh, but it seems like now the OKC took over. But two possession, not not even two possessions. It's like a, like yeah, two possession. So um, it's fifty to forty six. So you know, three pointer and a free throw or. Uh, you know, two three pointers would get us a lead, that type of thing. So two possessions. We need two possessions in order to tie or um or get the lead. So it is what it is there, man. So let's get this popping. Let's get the game popping. Hopefully everything works good. Make sure I plug in my stuff here so we don't hear no extra feedback and things like that. Don't want YouTube mad at me again. You know, YouTube already gave me two spankings already. One thing's because I was trying to cater to Facebook. And then the other one, I was trying to, uh, I was hanging out with State, and State had anime in the back. That almost got me in trouble, man. So here we are, Dianix Podcast in the place to be. OKC, you know, it would have been nice to win that Spurs game. You know, the Knicks, uh, whenever the Knicks allow a team to get the lead to start the game, it's never good, man. We always end up losing. So uh, the Spurs did pounce on us in the first quarter. So what happened? The Knicks end up losing, right? So, you know, like I said, that stat is kind of right on point. If the Knicks were up and against San Antonio, probably would have won the game. So let's get this together. Uh, hopefully, I don't have any problems with the camera. I've been having problems with the camera for a little bit, man. So let's let's get this together. So um, without further ado, let's get into that to the halftime report before the game comes back on. Uh, check out the game summaries really quick. Uh, for quarter to quarter, first quarter, the Knicks kind of uh, boxed them in, twenty-two to seventeen. Good defensive effort in the first quarter. Second quarter, OKC came, OKC came on. So you're talking about 33. Knicks only had 24. So the Knicks only did a little bit better scoring wise in that um in that in that second quarter, but just told the the defense totally fell under um against OKC. But OKC is a scoring team, and they, they don't have the injuries that the Knicks are dealing with right now. So uh, we'll see what happens, man. There's no excuses because the Knicks have been able to win, um you know without our main players, man. So um, speaking of main players, uh, Mitchell Robinson is out again. So I don't want to hear. I just don't want to hear anything else about Mitchell Robinson. Everything that I say about him is true, and it, there's there's no arguments about it. Right now, we can never start him. You know, we can never ever start him because he can't be. He's never available. Uh, shout out to my my um, my brother-in-law. He mentioned that today. He said um, the best ability is availability. The dude is never ready. You know what I'm saying? We definitely could use him, but I mean, if he if he's gonna be hurt like this, and, and we can't rely on him to stay healthy, because every time you look around, as soon as he makes a little stumble. We know he's going to be out the next game, you know, because he. I think he got hurt on the first play of the, of the entire game. Ended up uh, playing the whole game, limping a lot during the game. He got bumped a lot during the game. He ended up getting getting um hurt quite a few times, man. But um, you know, here he is not missing another game. He just came back from being out for a long time. Now he's going to be out again. How long is he going to be out? It's ridiculous to me, man. But um, anyway, you know, let's get us to get into something more positive. Cause like I said, I didn't see the score. I didn't see the the score at all. So I'm kind of anxious to see what the Knicks did before we um we get back into action. Looks like we might be back right after this commercial here. So Oklahoma City Thunder is on the left hand side. They put 46 shots up, uh, 41 percent. Knicks put up 48 shots, you know, and only 35 percent. So this is a bad shooting game. So it must have been ugly to watch. As I'm looking at OKC, um, a lot of three point shots from the left hand side missed. A lot of shots in the paint missed. A lot of shots on the rim. I see. Uh, on the Knicks side, for some reason, we're shooting threes on the opposite side. So our shot chart looks almost identical to theirs, but on the opposite side. So that's interesting. And the Knicks miss a lot of shots um, in the restricted area. Uh, all the corner threes we miss, it seemed like. So anyway, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how this plays out. Let's see what else is going on as far as the stats and stuff. Uh, biggest lead for the Knicks was seven. Biggest was, for, was four for OKC, which is the current lead now. Uh, longest run is nine, times tied, and lead change is six. That shows that it's a good game. Nice back and forth NBA basketball game. Um, 
Rebounding, the Knicks are up by two. You know, we got to clean that up. Assists were never up in assists. Blocks and steals, not really a big deal. As far as turnovers, neither team turned the ball over. We're just shooting the ball horribly. So the Knicks shot 35%. If the Knicks can get their field goal percentage up to normally where it normally is, we should be fine. Rebounding, we have to get on that rebound and, um, you know, just keep the, keep um, OKC basically around what they're shooting right now. And I, I think the Knicks should be able to pull it out. Let's talk about um, points in the paint. We, we beat them in points in the paint, 22 to 16. Second chance points, 15 to 10. And uh, they got us some fast break points. So the Knicks probably, uh, from all these misses, OKC has probably been running, running on us. That's why we lost that. that. That's what I'm assuming, you know, just being, uh, you know, watching these games left and right, knowing what our Knicks do and what to be expected. Check out the box score real quick before we get back. You got Dwart out there, not doing much, only four points. He's been atrocious, man. I added him to my fantasy team, and he's part of the, part of the reasons why I, I'm not going to win the championship again this year. Uh, Jalen Williams here, uh, 17 points. It's been a, a fire start, it seems like, seven for 10. So he's been going crazy. Um, Chet Holgan. It's um, been kind of like, uh, even, I mean, five points and two rebounds, not really playing his best basketball right now. Josh Giddy, uh, almost a triple-double, 9.6 uh, assists. He got um, two points only, though. So it's a weird kind of kind of thing. I'm looking at Shea gillick Alexander only has seven points in 17 uh, minutes. So I guess the Knicks' defense is working. Um, we just can't uh, find Jalen Williams. On the Knicks' side of things, um, you got Hartenstein and Brunson leading the show, as always, now. Uh, but without further ado, we're back in this game now. I'm at the 11.52nd mark. So let's get back into um, to this game here, so we can watch this thing. So OKC, you know, I'm I'm excited about them because you know they came from the dirt. They've been losing all these years. As uh, Mc, um, excuse me, uh, McBride just hit a corner three point shot right off the bat. There, that guy's automatic from the corner. Hopefully, he can keep shooting at least while I'm watching. Let's uh, let me get some stuff here on the side here so I can um, see who's out there for OKC. Yeah, as always, I'm always coming in hot, man. All these all these podcasts that I do, I always come in maybe like the most 15, of, you know, excuse me, the most 30 minutes before the pod, you know, I'd set it up or whatever. Today I set it up um, just now because I, I was thinking about passing up on it to hang out with the kids, but the kids are going to bed right now. We got stuff to do tomorrow morning early. You know, the kids don't have school, but we got stuff to do tomorrow. So the kids are going to go to bed. So, you know, might as well just come in here since the kids are going to sleep. Uh, so here we go. Uh Looks like OKC might have scored, didn't they? So we're talking about 50 to 49. So no score yet. Over to Giddy. Giddy you know, took a little, maybe an extra step on that stop. Josh Hart with the rebound. Here he goes pushing it. McBride was um get trying to get open. Hartenstein has it. Looking for the pass. Gives it over to Dante. Takes the screen. Dante comes over to uh Brunson. Brunson has it now. He's being guarded by I don't know who that is. We'll figure it out. Brunson falls to the floor. Uh kicks it off the OKC's foot. Now it should be next ball again. So six seconds on the shot clock. Take a look at who's out here. Uh, like I said, uh, you got uh, Jalen Williams there. He got 17 points. Hold him. Uh, Shea goes down. Alexander averages like 30-something points per game. He only has seven at the moment. You got Giddy Dort. So Giddy could absolutely, I mean, uh, Shea goes down. Alexander, he definitely could um, get hot. Wow, look at Deuce. Deuce with the nice shimmy there in the paint there. Over the head pass there. Finds Brunson in the corner. Off a pass with Dante. Knocks down that corner three. Unbelievable, baby. Sell it, sell it, sell it. The Knicks take the lead now, 52 to 50. See what the Knicks can do here. Got Shade Gill just going in and out. Deuce is guarding him right on his hip there. Hartenstein is right in his face too. Got caught on the switch, so he's going to try to guard him. Good defense there. It looks like a – was that a shot clock violation? Good defense there by, by Hartenstein. Hartenstein and the Knicks definitely doing their thing. So uh, early on here, we got uh, Jay Tucker in here. Everybody just, just, um, didn't know I was coming on, so Jay Tucker found me today. He said, I'm scared watching <laughs> watching this game. I said, I'm like, yeah, no doubt, man. So, you know, I'm not Muslim. You know, I'm not Muslim. So, you know, you know, but I, I do, um, you know, I am um, doing the fasting with, with my Muslim people this month. Uh, today's Easter, you know, so Easter, I broke the fast today. I broke the fast on Easter because um, I'm in my, my, my mother-in-law's house and uh, she would be so offended. You know, she doesn't get it. You know, we got a Haitian mother there. So you definitely, um, definitely can't. Um, you know, disrespect the house and that type of thing, you know what I'm saying? So I broke the fast today just to appease um uh, my mother-in-law and stuff. So, you know, I ate, ate food there, you know, hanged out a little bit, you know. So um tomorrow I, re I will resume the fast, you know. Got down to the Vincenzo for three, knocks that down. So the Knicks came out raining threes in the second half here. Yeah, man. So, um yeah, so I, I do feel a little bit bad about it, you know what I'm saying? But, um but you know, I, I am not Muslim, so it's not like I, I broke the Muslim, um uh you know, 
laws, you know what I'm saying? Because it, they actually have penalties for breaking um Ramadan if you're if you're like a, a real Muslim, you know what I'm saying? But um, you know, I'm I'm Catholic, um, you know, baptized Catholic and stuff like that. Doesn't really mean much, but um I did observe Easter today. You know, Easter feast. So another three point shot. So the Knicks are kicking ass with three. Started off this quarter here. I want to say four threes, right? Brunson hit two, Dante hit one, and they got a miles with one. So three, six, nine, twelve, twelve um points um there. Uh did the Knicks did have um one two pointer. So it's uh, 14 to 5, starting a 14 to 5 run to start the second half, man. So I think I'm the good luck charm, man. God bless. You know, Knicks are finally taking the lead. Well, OKC got fired for us. We already know that. So Knicks got to stay on their P's and Q's. So Tucker said he's doing the same with the with the uh, fasting. Let me see. I, I will be taking my uh, shot of sun. Okay, I had you. I got you. I got you. Hey, Amen. So definitely, definitely respect to everybody that's uh, practicing Ramadan. You know, it's, it is a beautiful um, tradition. You know, I you know I wish everybody would uh, at least try it at least once. You know, because it's something that um, it, it, it clears your mind. Definitely, it's some, something special about it. But not eating, you know what I'm saying, and, and then uh, like being hungry and being thirsty, but to making the commitment, you know, because you're making a commitment to not just um, to weight loss or something like that. You're making it to to God as as a way to give back to um, to the world, to acknowledge the, um, you know, other people that are less fortunate than you. You know what I'm saying? So, so you're, you're doing it for a reason, think, thinking ahead, thinking about the people around you and stuff, man. So that's that's why I'm doing it for doing it to to be. Um, you know, to help, you know, just to uh, follow my, my Muslim people in solidarity in this um, in this holiday. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I do take it very seriously. So um, tomorrow I'll be, I'll be right back on it uh, to, to finish it. You know, it'll be over on uh, April 9th. You know, so um, I'll be back on the fast tomorrow to uh, to finish it off with, um, with my Muslim brothers and sisters, man. So definitely appreciate um, all the support. You know, the people have been on, um, been supportive, you know. I shout out to coworkers that keep bringing it up every five seconds. You know, I'm not you know, like leave me alone. They're like, just say, like, worry about yourself. You know, like, yo, you gotta get something. You gotta drink something. Y'all, come on, man. You gotta drink something. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, man, mind your business, fam. Like, a lot of people don't get it. Like, uh, a lot of things too. Like, I'm I'm vegetarian too, so you know, people don't get. Oh, you don't eat meat? How you live? Man, do you see how big I am? I'm I'm like like 200 and, and like I got up to 265 at one point, man. So I'm a I was a I got to I'm a big fucking guy, you know. You know, so of course you can gain you can gain weight and not just fat. I'm I'm strong. You know, I, you know during um uh, last year around um October I was benching 300 something. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, squatting damn near 400. You know, so you know it, it is what it is. You you can get your strength up and, and um and still be vegetarian. You know, so vegetarian is just about you know killing an animal and eating an animal. You know, the protein and stuff like that. But most of the protein ends up um, becoming negative because I'll uh, shout out to anybody out there that's dealing with gout. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Gout. People that have gout, you know, that's because they eat too, too much, um, you know, uh, red meat and stuff like that. You know, shout out to any, anybody that has, um, what else am I thinking about? Let's say like kidney ailments and stuff like that. It's because uh, there's too much protein to process in the body, you know? So, you know, your body starts to break down if you eat too much protein. You know what I'm saying? You don't really need all that much protein the way that they say. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to build muscle to get diesel, maybe, but just regularly, just to maintain a regular human being's life, you don't need that much um, protein. You know, so you can get enough protein uh, having a plant-based diet, you know, so it, it is what it is. We're back in action now, 60 to 55 still, a little bit of arguing here with the referees. It's 8.55 on my clock, guys, third quarter. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Tucker's still talking about, man. He said, um, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Never uh, been so clear. I'm telling you, clear, to be clear-minded, like, I, I, I was feeling cloudy for, like, the whole year. Once Ramadan started and you get into it now, I feel like I got clarity. As you can see, I've been a little bit more active on the podcast, man. So, um, you know, I went out and bought, um, you know, bought State a bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I still haven't met him yet. So if State is watching, man, you motherfucker, like, yo, I, I just want to bring you this stuff so you can use it already. You know, stop, stop ghosting me on the fucking phone calls, man. It's crazy. But anyway, you know, and then everything else, too. I've been my I've been my uh, my my uh, creativity has been high, you know, just, um, you know, uh, my calmness, everything has been good, man. And Hartenstein makes a great defensive play inside there. He goes down to DiVincenzo, gives it to Brunson for a transition three. Give it to me. Misses it in and out. He goes, okay, see, check with the rebound. Shea's trying to push it up there. Shea was doing a little bit of pushing to, to Deuce just now. Nice interior pass by Giddy. Finds Dort, I believe, on the inside. No, that's Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams on the inside for a nice little layup. So here comes Brunson. Okay, see, got a little bit of energy right now. Yeah, but it is what it is. 
right now I just ate a bunch of candy too, man, with my kids. So definitely got to take it easy for tomorrow. Hornstein fakes a handoff to Brunson, gets it over to Deuce. Deuce has a catch and shoot, baby. Oh, misses it. Hartenstein runs down the rebound, gives it into Josh Hart. Josh Hart puts the brakes on, able to lay it up. No travel. They could have called it. He slid a little bit, but um, he slid the first foot, kept the pivot foot down. So good, um, good play there by Josh Hart. Giddy now posting up, finding Chet Holdman for three. Front rim. Josh Hart trying to fight in there for the rebound. Dante DiVincenzo fighting there. Giddy was able to get the layup though. Giddy's looking for a foul. They look for a foul every fucking time. Just get back on defense, man. That drives me crazy. That drives me crazy. Every play, I, I like we have like just now we had like 40, we put 46 shots on the on, on the ball, 40, whatever, 41 shots, 46 shots. And for 46 shots or whatever, you know, guys are looking for a foul for every single damn shot. It's ridiculous, man. Brunts with a nice little crossover, stop, pop, in and out there. Josh Hart, no, Hartenstein with it up and under. Oh, oh, he gets the layup. Did he get the foul? He does take the bump. So he does have a foul there. So good, good play there by Hartenstein. Hartenstein been playing his ass off, man. God bless. You know, if, like I, I gotta say, if we didn't have Hartenstein playing at this level, man, I don't know if we'd be able to win these games here. I mean, I, he's one of the one of our best players, but I feel like if we can't really single out one player outside of Brunson. I mean, the the combination of Josh Hartenstein, Divincenzo, you know, Miles McBride, Precious, all these guys together collectively has made the Knicks the way that they are. You know, we're we're probably like the best team in basketball right now. You know, uh, outside of having all the big three superstar players and stuff like that. Team wise, I think we have the best team in the NBA to tell you the truth, man. We definitely need some extra firepower, but when our guys are locked in, we can compete with anybody, you know, playing really good team basketball. Hartenstein, Hawking, Hart, uh, excuse me, um, Shea, but Miles was able to get in there to contest, but Shea still knocks it down. Tough shot, you know, so you got to make tough shots against the Knicks. Knicks are always going hard there because Brunson coming across the timeline. Double screen there. They're trying to double team him. Got three guys looking at, um, okay, looking at Brunson. Hartenstein comes around the screen, met by two people. Hartenstein stop, pops, kicks it inside to Josh. Nice little spin and Rudy kind of dunk there, kind of layup there. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to stick with it for a while too, man. You don't eat meat neither? That's dope, man. You don't need to. I mean, you know, I, I feel like, you know, Tucker, I feel like a lot of us that are, are on this channel together, man, are, are kind of alike. So, you know, like mo mostly people that, um, you know, that they say birds of a feather flock together. Sometimes you attract what you, what you, um, who you are also, you know? So if a lot of people say, damn, man, I'm attracting all these assholes. They say, guess what? Look in the mirror. <laughs> you know, you're probably like the main one. You know what I'm saying? You might, you might actually may be king of the assholes. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you gotta be careful, you know, um, you know, what you say and what you do, because, um, you, you might be the one attracting all the negativity in your life, man. Dennis, uh, Dwayne Dennis in the place. What's up? Oh, Ishmael. <laughs> Boy, Ishmael is busting my chops here. Uh, yeah, man. Um, you know, I am pretty strong, man. You know, right now, I don't think I could, I could bench at 300 now. Definitely. I definitely got to get back into the gym. I haven't worked out since um since I ran the half marathon, excuse me, ran the um New York City Marathon. Dante cross court to Brunson. Brunson has the ball, comes over to the elbow. Josh Hart in the middle there. Brunson's going to do his thing. Spin on Dort like he ain't even there. Off the rim, lays it up. Dort is a big time defender, and Brunson just spinned off him like he wasn't even there. Yeah, man. But um, I got 315 on the incline, which is crazy. Uh, off the flat bench, I was able to get like 315 plus, I think, like two tens, whatever that is. That's um 335. I got it up once. You know, uh, benching, I, I didn't I didn't get the 400, but I, I think I got like 375. I got it up to 375. You know, but um, you know, I shouldn't have been lifting that much. I was trying to run the, the New York City Marathon, but my back was hurting, so I was just trying to get my body as strong as possible. I ended up putting on 20 extra pounds, you know, during that time, you know, which which um helped with the strength, that actually helped with my endurance getting there, getting to the um to the finish line. Uh, but it didn't really do much for my stamina. Stamina and endurance uh, to me is two different things. So my stamina running, as far as being able to maintain um a certain amount of um Running, I just wasn't able to do it. But endurance wise, man, I, I I could I could have kept going if I really needed to. Um, my feet exploded for people that don't don't know the um the half there. Um the Knicks are actually up by 10, man. Let me make sure I say that. 75 to 65. That three-point shot is working for the Knicks. And um the Knicks uh, defense has really been clicking. And um the uh, the fast break, the pacing has been up for the Knicks, man. So I believe the Knicks are still they were up by maybe what was it like six shots i want to say in, in the set in the first half and now that you know i'm quite sure it's up now because the knicks have really been running down on okc 
So, I mean, Knicks are making this look easy, kind of. You know, OKC, they, they play up and, up and down style of basketball. Uh, but the Knicks are a rough and tumble team. You know, so um, Oklahoma is not really there yet. They do have guys that hustle and stuff like that. They have really good skill players because Josh Giddy almost has a, um, a triple-double. If he gets 10 points, he only has four, though. Uh, Jalen Williams with 21 points. So if Jalen Williams had a regular game and wasn't scoring the way he's scoring now, let's see if he had like 10 points right now or 11 points, um, then the Knicks will, up, will be up by 20. That's crazy to me. You know, so that's, that's good stuff there by um, by the Knicks. Yeah, so Boy Ishmael don't believe me. Uh, I do have an Instagram page, you know, um, you know that uh, that I was um, posting some video. Uh, like I said, when I when I when I had the three fifteen in, in a video that I posted, I was doing it with one of my one of my boys and shit. And um, uh, you know, I, my stomach was popping out, man. Sheesh, man, I, I can't believe I got that big. But the three fifteen, at least I put it up one time. I, I, my my boy was spotting me, uh, but you know, I don't have any more footage up of me putting it up, putting it up for reps, or getting it three thirty five, man. But but I mean. That camera doesn't have to come out all the time. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just need to just work out and not worry about recording everything, man. But this is the way the world is. So if anybody could find my Instagram page, you know, it is Die Hard Eru. So you can look it up, Die Hard Eru on Instagram. And you can see the videos that I posted and stuff, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna do better move on videos and more and more, you know, just um, more content coming soon. But like I said, I haven't worked out since the New York City Marathon, and that was November 5th. You know, so November 5th or whatever it was. No, I believe it was November 5th. I haven't worked out since November 5th. And we're freaking in March right now. But no, excuse me. We're about to be, we're about to be in April tomorrow. Tomorrow's April Fool's, for Christ's sake. So um, it's been a long time. We're talking about Mar uh, March. I mean, uh, what's that? November, December, January, February, March. That's four months I haven't worked out. So I definitely lost a lot of strength. So definitely got to try to get that back. So, I, you know, I think I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to start tomorrow because, uh, you know, it's the day after Easter. So maybe Tuesday I might start something. So we, we'll see how that works. So we got a lot of celebrities in the building, the building today. This guy, Michael Strahan, looks better than he did when he played. Sprewa looks so smooth. He's, he's look like he was a straight asshole when he played, but he looks like a um, Sesame Street character now. Shout out to Shea gillis -Jan -Jan, A nice pass inside there, the number six there, off the glass there. They're going to call a blocking foul on Brunson. Brunson got annihilated. But I think Brunson might have slid there. It's a little bit too too um too quickly. Wasn't able to let let the um, the feet get set for the for the play to really formulate. Yeah, let me see there. So I see Brunson slid over there. Yeah, he um got he man, I don't know. I think he might have got there. Maybe he has a situation where he wasn't in the restricted area. I don't know where Brunson's feet was. It looked like Brunson might have gotten there. I don't know. So T uh, J Tucker says I'm trying to bulk up without eating meat. It's hard as fuck. Uh, yeah, man. You know, th there's um, there's ways around it, man. To bulk up, you know, you eat more starch, that type of thing. You know, um, eating the protein is one thing. You need the protein to build the muscle, but like to really put on the weight and stuff like that. You know, you you just up the um, you up the carbs a little bit. You just gotta be careful that you don't want to have a dirty bulk. You know, so you kind of want to bulk gradually. You don't you don't want to like, uh, you know, do like me. Like I freaking gain like so much weight, man. I got up to two sixty five. You know, and knowing I have to run the marathon and I gain up to 265 all stomach, man. Shit. So that was crazy. You know, you definitely got to be very careful, man. So Nick's misses shot. Shay Gilders is coming up. Nick's is still up by, what is this, nine? Shay Gilders is dribbling around. Deuce from McBride is right on his ass. Comes around the screen there. Precious found him. Deuce able to get right on him to make him pass it over to the corner there. Who is that? Oh, that's uh, Mr. Um. Who's that? Gordon Haywood. Wow. Gordon Haywood. I forgot he was on their team. So Gordon Haywood, that's his first shot, first made shot of the game there. Amadi finessing the place. That's good. Yeah, everybody's saying what's up to each other. Chet um getting bodied by iHeart. He did. I missed it. 75 to 69. Yeah, happy Easter, my man Daniel Umberry Sports in the place. Yeah, three fifteen on the incline. When I did that, if if uh, it was, it kind of scared me because um, I didn't really even need a, a spot a little bit. So he goes presses off of, of steel, comes in and gets a nice little finish. So the Knicks are pouncing on these guys, seventy seven to sixty nine. Yeah, three fifteen on the incline. It didn't feel good though. I, I got to tell you that, but it kind of it kind of went up easier than I than um than I thought it would. You know, so it kind of scared me a little bit. So after that, I didn't really go as heavy with that. You know, stay with the two two twenty five just to keep it comfortable. 
It was Josh Hart really attacking the rim there, and they're going to call a foul. Yes, Josh Hart finally gets a foul call. Sheesh. Yeah, so Tucker saying I'll get back on no time. But yeah, you know, I have, I have no issues with that. I love to lift, man. Lifting to me, lifting is um is thing is everything, man. I love to lift. You know, getting strong and stuff like that is just a good thing. It's a good feeling, the good confidence that you can give yourself by by being able to to you know get, you know get a, get to a certain strength. You know, you know what are hurting yourself. You don't definitely don't want to. Oh my God, this ESPN commercial thing drives me crazy because it comes out of nowhere. But yeah, man, um, you know, lifting strong is for especially for a man. Women could get the same benefit out of it, man. It, you know, just to be able to to lift lift something, you know, and knowing that you can lift your own weight up and stuff like that is definitely a um definitely makes you feel good, you know. And so you said, uh, bro, let me eat those meals you've been eating. And you don't want to eat like me. Like I said, I, I was not eating healthy. It's not like I was um, restricting myself. I, you know, I can eat a lot of pizza, a lot of pasta, a lot of you know, a lot of a lot of carbs and stuff like that. Definitely eating way too many too many carbs, and whatever you know. So um, a lot of cheese, you know, because of the pizza and stuff like that. Um, uh, you know, protein shakes not too much because I was eating so much. I, I I wasn't worried about adding extra calories like another two fifty on on a protein shake. You know, what what all the other calories that I'm eating. You know what I'm saying? So. Like I was trying to cut the cut the calories down, man, but I was still up to like maybe forty five hundred calories a day. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, if you're gonna eat forty five hundred calories a day, you know four thousand five hundred calories, you know, um, you're gonna you're gonna put in some weight. So maintaining that, man, that definitely got my weight up there. You know, but um, you kind of need that if if you're gonna be lifting heavy like that. You need your body to be nourished. Also, when you're lifting heavy like that, you're not gonna be what is it? SGA of Oklahoma City, and not Dort. The ruling on the floor of a defensive foul is switched to SGA for Oklahoma City. Because the foul has been changed, what? the ch challenge by Oklahoma City is successful. It'll be two shots for Josh Hart. We'll play off the make or miss. Oh, whatever, man. These referees, I don't know what the fuck is up with these refs, man. Yeah, man. But you know, whatever, man. You know, you just, you have to eat a lot. That's all it is. You have to eat a lot. Let's say, let's say, if you if you take a look at what your calories are. Uh, you know, cause I got, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm like 40 something years old, man. Cause I have a lot of experience in, in this life, man, especially lifting. So, I mean, like if you, if you take a look at how much calories you're putting in your, in your system, um, like say they say the average for a man, what is it like 2,400, 2,400 calories, you know, just to maintain a regular man's, um, you know, daily stuff that may be true, but it really depends on what your body weight is and what your act activity level is, man. But, um, I used to stick to the 2,400 and, um, you know, you know, I, I was able to maintain a, a nice uh, lean weight at the time, you know, um, but um, if you want to live, if you want to get heavier, you have to increase that weight. But I mean, going from 2,400 to 4,500, man, that's, that's, um, you're looking to get fat, you know what I'm saying? Unless you're like really lifting uh, the earth, which I, which, which I was doing, but um, not as, as, um, I was pretty consistent to tell you the truth, but, um, you know, it's not really like the cleanest um, bulk, you know? So I mean, if you're lifting 24, if you if you can just get it up to up to 3,000, that might be what you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? Just get it up a little bit, not too much. You know, because you because you will get fatter, then you will get stronger. You know what I'm saying? You get your muscles won't build as as fast as as the fat on um, reserves will. You know what I'm trying to say? And also, I, I barely was doing cardio because my back was hurting me, which is interesting, right? He goes Dante DiVincenzo with the rebound, kicks it out to Deuce, Deuce in the elbow, back to Brunson, Brunson top of the key, being guarded by Dort. Ah, uh, Dort's dribbling. So there was a lot of dead plays there. While well, I was talking about the food and stuff, nothing was really happening. He goes a uh, crazy pass inside to to Josh, but Josh gave make another um crazy pass inside. I believe that was to Deuce for a layup there. So here comes OKC coming up. This is um Williams here coming coming this way. Jalen Williams, Jalen Williams, top of the key being guarded by Josh comes around the screen. I mean, he just falls down, and so they're gonna call a legal screen on Josh. Josh um made Dort hit the floor. Like I said, Dort is um, you know, I thought Dort was better than than, than what he's showing, man. Dort is not that good, you know. Um, you know, people were talking about bringing him to the Knicks just because of his um defense, whatever. But his defense is not all that, and his offense is not good enough, uh, to warrant even uh, worrying about him, you know. No deuce there, beautiful pass there by Josh. Nice little layup too, man, to ward off the defense and still make the layup on the opposite side there. Very good there by Deuce. Uh, but we got Dort at the free throw line, misses the free throw. Yeah, so we were talking here. 
Yeah, Gucci Mane is something else, man. But you know, nothing, nothing. Gucci Mane has has a good temperament. I haven't really seen him lose composure. And guys are always yelling at him and stuff like that. He always pretty much uh, ignores everybody. Does a really good job of that. So, shout out to Kareem in the place. What's up, my brother? Oh, so he says, uh, Bo Ishmael said, if you're consuming 24 hour calories a day, you definitely have to work that out. Clean 24. I mean, but you know, but 24, 24 kind of kind of calories. Um, it, it it really pertains to your weight. You know, whatever your weight you're, you're looking to get there. So you have to you have to figure out there's there's a there's a formula for it. You can Google it. The amount of calories that you need at a certain weight. So they actually have calorie counters and all that apps on your phone that you can have that you can figure out what kind of how much calories you need for for a certain amount of body weight. You know, if you want to lose weight, you have to eat less calories. You know, what I'm saying if you want to gain weight, you have to um, eat more calories. You know what I'm trying to say? So as as much as um losing, as much as adding only like. You know, 600 calories, that, that, I mean, that's about right. 600 calories, maybe three, 300, 300 calories can get you to gain some weight. 600 calories would definitely um, get you to where you want to go. You know, losing weight too. So if you have 24, if you want to lose weight, if you get down to 1,600 calories, you know, that might be the extreme. Maybe 17 would be a little bit better, you know. But, um, you, know, lo- you know, losing those calories would definitely make you lose weight. But throughout the course of time, you don't want to lose weight too fast. You know, they say one pound. Two pounds a week is extreme. Two pounds a week is the, is like healthy. Uh, some people do extreme um, diets and stuff, and they end up losing more than that. And it's not, not it's not really safe to do that. To do that, really, two pounds a week is great. You know, over time, you definitely could lose the weight, and it won't you won't look crazy. You know what I'm saying? You'll still look healthy. You know. So anyway, Shay Gilgisana being haunted by uh, Miles McBride there. Shay um, um Holdrum there was wide open. Shay ends up getting the rebound. So who is guarding the perimeter? All the Knicks are um, underneath the basket. Precious with the rebound, finally. Damn. So all the Knicks were kind of packing the paint, and the OKC was not able to, to hit that three, you know? So the Knicks um, missed the bullet there. I see Alec Burks in the game there. He got Miles McBride, gives it over to Precious. Two cuts there. Precious sets the screen there. Dante gets it. I don't know who Dante was passing to there. But here goes a touchdown pass there to Gordon Hayward. So Gordon Hayward still can get up. He's six foot nine, also, six foot eight, something like that. So 81 to 71. Knicks are still up by 10, which is amazing. Miles McBride barely gets across the timeline. Dante T. Vincenzo has it being guarded by a big player. Fakes, gives it over to Josh, swings it over to Miles McBride, catch and shoot in the corner. No good. Heavily contested. Slapping and whapping there. Here comes um, this is uh Jalen Williams pushing and shoving. And he gets a tomahawk dunk on a fast break there. A lot of pushing there, though. These referees ain't shit, man. Here goes Josh Wright asking for a timeout. But master blaster there by OKC in the garden, just banged it on all, basically like three Nick players there. So he's definitely on one today. This guy Jalen Williams, he got twenty three points. This motherfucker, I don't know what he's trying to look. Too many bumps there, you know. But he came right down the teeth of the defense to bang it right on all the Knicks there. Look at him straight pushed off on, on Miles there. Miles came in there. Dante didn't want to jump with him, but um, still a nice dunk. You know, give it up to him. Um, but the Knicks are still up, so fuck him. So he goes on, um, G Tuck, he said, uh, bro, I might look big, but I'm like uh, 165. I could uh, never put on weight no matter how much I ate. Yeah, man. But, you know, if um if you're working out and stuff like that, man, um, consistently, gaining weight is hard because your body becomes a furnace, you know? When your body's like a furnace, anything you eat, your body just turns in, in, into what it needs, you know? So uh, guys guys that are usually in shape, guys that, are, that, that, that don't let themselves go, you know, that always maintain a certain amount of, um you know, athleticism or strength or... Or whatever, man. You know, it's very hard for for people to for those people to gain because you guys, like I said, your body's like a furnace. You know, so um, you know, it is it is what it is. There's different things you could do to to tweak things, but you got to be careful. Once you change once you change the way your body is working, it's very hard to get it back. You have to work hard to get it back. So, you know, just um, you know, be be mindful. Just um, and also be thankful to uh, of where you are. You know, and um, be um, what do you say, realistic about you know how much weight you're gonna gain and stuff. As it pertains to basketball. You know, gaining weight is never a good idea for, for basketball. I remember back in the days, oh, if you, you got to gain like 15 pounds of muscle, 20 pounds of muscle, you know, it's easier said than done. They have special tra- uh, trainers and stuff like that. But gaining all that weight is never usually a good thing because it ends, always ends up um, getting joint problems, man. Shout out shout out to Marcus Camby. He got up to 245 in his career. Then he started having that plantar fasciitis really bad. You know, he had got up to 225, 230 when he was with the Knicks. And he used to get that those um those injuries. Uh, like I said, in Denver, he ended up having some of his best years there 
uh, but he also was was suffering heavily, you know, due, due to those little problems there because it's too much weight. You know, so weight doesn't mean strength. That's another thing too, man. Muscle, pounds of muscle, yeah, whatever. Dude still can't even bench 225. I took him, I, I gained like 15 pounds of muscle because they've, they've been doing um exercise bands and jumping jacks and shit. Like, what the fuck, man? So anyway, you know, since we're talking about working out and stuff like that, there's one thing I hate when, when, when guys say it, especially women say it because it's cute. But when guys say, yeah, man, I just want to tone up, man. I fucking hate that shit. He goes to check home with a corner three, hits the side of the backboard, gets his own rebound, comes in. Did they call an offensive foul or did they call a regular foul? I don't know. I saw him throw the punch. So him throwing a punch, I think that might be a foul. So check, catch it, bounce it, hits him, power dribble. So, I mean, there's got to be an offensive foul, but I guess there's going to be free throws for Chet, right? So, so um, Tom um, Thibodeau was yelling and screaming. Knicks is still up 83 to 75. So, so I don't like this, man. He catches it. Even he is the power dribble. So once you hit the power dribble, he dropped his shoulder. That's to me, that's charging. Unless they unless they want to say that um unless they want to say that Deuce was um moving still, you know, got there too late. I don't know, man. Shit is shit is whack. Um, you're doing 1,000 push-ups, uh 500 squats, and I'm thankful. Um, I'm doing another challenge tomorrow. And I'm off. Yeah, so you're getting a lot of reps too, bro. So that, that's a different animal. Uh, when, when I when I lift, you know, I hate doing a lot of reps, you know, doing like um, a lot of push ups and doing a lot of pull ups and that type of thing. I don't like to do that when I work out. Um, so I, I like to do, um, you know, my, I like to do eight. Eight is my favorite number. So I like to hit things on with the eights. You know, if I'm lifting heavy and I'm really trying to incre- increase the strength, I might get those reps down to one. Excuse me, not, not one, maybe three. You know, even one, three, two, one, you know, just so I can feel the weight go up. You know, so I might do that a little while just to get the strength up. And then I'll still throw other weights in there and like mate, like um, what do you want to say? Like working weights where, where I can get that up to my eight, my favorite number eight. So if I rock with an eight for a while, you know, then I'll have heavy days where I lift extremely heavy. Like I said, three reps the most, you know, and try to get the whole set, you know, maybe like, you know, four, four sets um, with only three reps. You know, and then maybe towards the end, I'll try to squeeze out one rep, you know, or whatever. Get get some warm up sets going in, and maybe get some one reps going. It depends on what you're trying to do, man. So, but for real, man, I, I don't really hit um hit like um you know ten reps that type of thing. Some people like to do fifteen reps when they work out. I just don't like to do that. You know, um, and I'm you know calisthenics is dope too, but um I don't like to do calisthenics, cause um not for nothing for all the weight that I lift, I never hurt myself. Why? That's a lie. I got a hernia one time lifting weights, but that's a that's because I was doing, I was playing around. I shouldn't have been doing that. But um, um, just doing basic push-ups, man. I dislocated my shoulder, like popped my arm. I I almost tore my bicep tendon just doing push-ups. And it's not like I was not like I was I was fooling around. I was just doing regular push-ups, and I felt my I felt like my shoulder, I uh, had tore. But it was, it was, I found out later it was my bicep tendon. You know, so you know, and that's not the reason why I don't like it. But it's just like doing the the all those reps, all those reps. You know, and, and it makes me laugh too, because guys like, how many pushes can you do right now? See, I could do more than you, 50, whatever. Okay, cool. You can do more than me. Uh, but how much can you bench, fam? You know what I'm saying? I, I could bench more than you, you know. You know, can um, you know, can you pull yourself up o- over or something? No, you can't. You know, push-ups is great, but you gotta get the the balance with the with the pull-ups too, you know. You know, so you know it's interesting, man. But you know, I don't like to get into ego lifting or competing with other people and all that stuff, man. It's all about what you want to do and the physique that you would like. If you're trying to be athletic a certain way, then there's a certain way that you need to work. So I mean, th- this I'm just talking about working out because I'm watching. There's nothing happening. I don't know what the fuck is going on in this Knicks game, but it's been a lot of dull moments right now. It goes Burks on the drive there, nice little layup off the front glass, knocks that down, man. So good move by Burks. So Burks had a little shoulder injury there, man. So now he's back. They definitely lost um, themselves there. Gordon Hayward thinks that is, thinks that is um five ten years ago, catching a, almost caught like a kind of alley oop off the off the fast break there. Here's another break in the in the in the movement. What are they? What are the refs calling now? Damn man, this guy Jordan Gordon Hayward was that 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 move. He he thought he was a young boy just now. Yeah, but I don't know what these refs are calling. They're calling something every five seconds. I just don't fucking get it, man. 85 to 73. Knicks are still up by Knicks are up by what? I don't know. Here goes OKC up high layup by Shea. That cuts it to, to 10. So the Knicks were up by 12 just now. Now it's 10. 20 seconds in the third quarter. 
Knicks um really uh, ran the score up here in his third quarter, 39 to 25. 14 seconds. He had got a chance to, to add another point there. Pops it over to Josh. Josh on the left hand side. He um pushes the, the um, tempo a little bit, gives it over to Burks. Burks gets stops um stop step back three point shot. He falls to the floor. Did he turn his ankle there or did he just try to fall? Anyway, OKC had the last shot there. Heave. A uh, heave. Anyway. So that's the end of the third quarter, man. Knicks did, did, did their business there. OKC came at us 33 to 24 in the second. Uh the Knicks bounced right back and um scored 39 to 25. Uh, annihilated the Thunder in the third quarter here. So the fourth quarter is here. We're up by 10. We're definitely in the driver's seat. Uh, it's very possible for OKC to, to start pouring on that that uh, offensive firepower that they have. You know what I'm saying? So the Knicks are going to need every last bit of this 10-point lead. So hopefully the Knicks can hold on, man, with this lead and get this win to make up for what we, what we did against San Antonio, man. So that's what's up. Yeah, calisthenics is dope, man, but, you know, it is what it is. If you don't like doing it, then don't do it. That's why I said people that people that bench, you know, like like if you like benching, then do benching. And like if um, you know, if you like lifting weights, then lift weights. If you like um doing bands, do bands. If you like lift um doing pushups, do new pushups. If you don't like lifting weights, then don't, fam, don't, because you can get big and strong, whatever you want to do, um, doing pushups. If you wanna if you wanna be more athletic and be more flexible and stuff like that, pushups and calisthenics is the move, you know. But you gotta get a good mix of everything, you know. Definitely gotta get a, gotta get a good mix. But like I said, if you don't like doing something, then don't do it. Like if you don't like running, then don't. There's other ways to do your cardio. You know, you can do cardio a different way. There's all different ways to to, uh, to do stuff, man. So, you know, like, like I said, the, the older you get, you kind of understand. Like like when guys make you do stuff, oh, we're gonna do we're gonna do um a, a circuit, three a three move circuit, man. We're gonna do 15 reps a piece, and the last one, I want you to hold it, and and this that man. Fuck that bullshit. You know, so you know, I hate that. You know, people think that that oh, you can't do it. Oh no, yeah, okay, but can you do this? Oh, you can't do that either. All right, so then what the fuck then? You know, you you can't you can't um uh, put your workout on somebody else, man. You have to, whatever. And that's why I don't, I don't really like trainers too much. Like you need a trainer if you don't know what you're doing. You know, so a trainer will help you out to get to wherever you need to get to. Uh, but some some trainers don't look will look at you and make you do uh, a particular type of exercise. And won't even consider where you are health wise, you know. Oh, uh, I want you to do um, lunges and stuff like that. Me meanwhile, you have a prosthetic leg. How the fuck are you gonna do um, lunges on a prosthetic leg? Oh, um, yeah, I want you to do cross cross um, squats where where the one leg is crossing in front of the other and all this other stuff balancing on one leg. Meanwhile, you have a torn ACL. Why would you do that on a torn ACL? So I mean, like. You know, these these train a lot of these trainers out here are just out there, you know, just doing the job and they don't really care about what they're doing. If you if you're blessed enough to find a trainer that really knows what they're doing and cares about what who you are and how to how to work with what your body is and what you like to do, then that's fantastic, man. God bless you if you're able to find that. Wow, this guy Jalen Williams is kicking our ass, man. I made another shot in the perimeter. So Jalen Winters, I believe he has 25 now. Knicks are up 85 to 77. 11 minutes and 36 seconds on my clock, guys. Burks comes around the screen. Uh, Precious is there with them. Burks just picks up his dribble for nothing. His little, anyway, Miles finds it. Back to Precious. Back to Burks. Burks stops, dribbles, spin move. Nice uh, penetration. Floating shot. No good. Precious in the right spot, right time. Tries to throw it up. Gets blocked from behind. Loses the ball here. Uh, Jalen. Slides it over to whoever this guy with the dreads is here. He knocks that down. So that's number 22. I'm not sure who 22 is. The 22 just hit a corner three. Looking good there. So 22, is that I, Joe? I think that might be I, Joe. Isaiah Joe. Miles McBride, a little dribble in there. Oh, I don't know what happened there. He tried to pass it to I don't know who. But Miles McBride, good defensive attack there. But Oki still was still able to score. So here goes the run. There's seven and zero run to start the fourth quarter. Tom Thibodeau might call a timeout. Yep, here it goes. Timeout for for Tom Thibodeau. Seven and zero run to start the fourth quarter is not a good look for the Knicks, man. So uh, Tom Thibodeau just told the ref, "The fuck is wrong with you?" That's what the that's what he just told the ref just now. Unbelievable. But anyway, Knicks are up by three, so that's what's up. Uh, Tucker says, "Am I a Libra?" Nah, man, I'm a, I'm a Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Shout out to McGeechan. What's good, man? He says, um, what's up, what's up? He says, uh, saw the Spurs game live. You saw it live? Wow. So I was more mad at JB. Did it get, yeah, man. Yeah, towards the end of the game, though, I was kind of upset 
um, how Tom Thibodeau was just allowing him to go one on one and not and like totally isolating and just making uh, Jalen just go one on one against San Antonio. I just didn't like that. I felt like we should have just kept running the same sets. I think Brunson still would have got his points, you know, but him just 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 um, eliminating what we were doing and just making Jalen go one on one. I don't think that was the right idea. I think we had the wrong idea there. You know, we still need we still need the rest of our players. You know, Brunson had it going, um, but we still needed our the rest of our players to be in the mix there to try to win that game. So I thought that was a bad decision. So I think he should, I think he could have gotten that sixty three in in regulation. You know, but um, you know, it is what it is, man. It's like crying over spilled milk, right? Yeah. So I had a hernia. How I got the hernia is that I had a, I was working out with two twenty five. I was younger though. I forgot how old I was. Uh, but I was um, working out, uh, and um, I was doing a 225, and I was doing um, a leg extensions at the same time. <laughs> so, you know, so I, I can't really explain it. You know, I, I guess I can go big screen here. So you know, you know, I'm on a flat flat bench like this. You know, the flat bench doing like that. So I'm on a flat bench, and I had my knees up to up to my like you know, I had them up parallel, and then I was doing like leg extensions while I, while I was bench pressing. And I kind of was fooling around. I was doing it too much, and, I, and my my belly button popped out. <laughs> so I mean, it didn't hurt, but man, that shit was freaky. My whole belly button popped out. Like you know, you got your belly button. What is it like this? This is your belly button here, and then the, uh, my freaking belly button popped out the be- <laughs> popped out the hole like that. So that was crazy. It was an umbilical hernia, man. So respect the weights. You know what I'm saying? You can't be fooling around, man. You know, so I definitely was fooling around and ripped my freaking um, um belly button open. So that's crazy. So yeah, man, definitely gotta respect the weights, man. You, you know, you can't go in there fooling around. I see a lot of young guys fooling around. I just look at them and shake my head, man. They just asking for like a herniated disc, asking for a shirt or shoulder injury, asking for a hernia, you know. So you gotta be careful. I'm lucky it was an umbilical hernia. So it, was, it wasn't, and it wasn't like, you know, according to the doctor, he said it wasn't like a really bad one. You know, it still was, you know, worth getting the surgery to get it back to normal and stuff, but um. It wasn't as bad because I didn't really tear my abdominal wall too too bad. Dante DiVincenzo with a three point shot off the inbounds there, inbounds play gave it gave it to um, Deuce and Deuce gave it right back and he hit the three point shot. So nice um, play out the inbounds there. Knicks are playing good defense, but um, Josh Giddy found himself wide open. And he hits the three. So Knicks hit a three. Knicks give a three. Eighty three to eighty five here. Ten minutes and twenty seconds here. Knicks got to get it together. So Deuce is walking the ball up the court. I don't understand why. We need, just need to let this um, time go off the clock here. DiVincenzo has it now, kind of like on the elbow. Takes a Hartenstein screen. Nice little pick and roll inside to, to Precious there. Nice give and go there. So nice pick and roll for Hartenstein to roll to the basket. As he goes to the basket, Precious uh, uh, shoots to the basket and gets a nice little dunk there. So here he goes, wrap around. So they, did they call a charge? No fucking way. These refs suck, man. I mean, they called a charge. They called a charge there. I don't know about charge. I mean, the guy was moving for Christ's sake. But anyway, they called a charge. That would have been a great play by the Knicks. But they called a charge. So here comes Williams there. Williams has been doing everything. Nice little crossover. Kicks it out to number 34. 34 for three and knocks that down. So now here go OKC with the lead. No, they tied it up. 88 to 88. Because five plus three is eight, right? 88 to 88. 944. Deuce has it, swings it over to Bogdan. So this is Bogdan's first um, look in the second half. DiVincenzo on the drive. Inside, nice little floor. is short. Uh, so did they call a foul? Are they calling a foul on the Knicks or OKC? Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't know. Tom Tibble had called Dante over for something. I don't know what happened here. Are the Knicks going to get some free throws or what? So it looks like Dante is going to get free throws. Let me get some um, chapstick on these lips here. Man, it's been windy, man, in New York City. You know, it's like the rain is off and on rain today. It was supposed to rain today. It didn't rain, but it still was windy. So it must have been raining somewhere near the city. Uh, This week is supposed to rain all week, so sucks, man. You can't even take a break. Now, out of nowhere, it's going to be 80 degrees. That's how New York City is. It's going to be 45. You know, we're going to be cold. Here it is, April already. Next thing you know, we're going to get hit with a freaking 80 degree weather for like maybe like a week or so. And then it's going to shoot back down to the 40s. 
in the next thing you know, summertime will be here and it will be consistent with the weather again for a little while. That's how New York City weather is, man. Nothing, nothing's ever like regular in New York City. Here goes Deuce top of the key now, dribbling around. Got 90 to 90. Nine minutes in the fourth. Bogan just came across. He's in the corner. Deuce is too busy fooling around, but he does find Hartenstein inside. Oh, it came across the head there. So I don't know if they're going to call a flagrant on number 34. He's just trying to say, I'm sorry. So Dante DiVincenzo might have had something to say. I don't know. But I, I didn't really like the contact. I don't know if the referees are going to review that. Sometimes you need to review a few certain things. That might, might, that might need a review. Inside Hartenstein up with the shot. See the extra hand there to pull down. He's not going in for the ball. So referee's got to watch, got to review that one. Bogey was open, but he but he did find Hartenstein. But I don't know. He jumped up and fell down. So I don't know if they want to say that he was trying to brace, trying to brace himself. But he grabbed his head and he, he didn't let go. There was no reason for him to, for that to happen, man. So if they're going to call a flagrant, I think this is a good time to do so. So anyway, I don't know. So where are we at now? Oh, yeah, yeah. So Jay Tucker says, um, you got me on the bench. I'll give you that. But, yeah, man, like I said, right now, I probably, I probably could barely get 135 up, man. You know, like four months without lifting, it's not really a good thing, you know, especially, um, you know, with what's going on with my diet and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I bet you I probably won't even be able to get 135 up. So I'll, I'll get it back together. Like I said, um, I'm, de I'm definitely thinking um, April 2nd. April 2nd, I got to get back into the gym. So, um, yeah, man, I have the Instagram account. I also got a um, a Die Hard Eru TikTok account. So either one, you know, you can follow Die Hard Eru on, on um, Instagram or Die Hard. Um, I mean, while I'm talking to you guys, I actually do have Instagram up. So you see who who popped in on this Instagram. We got some some coworkers here. We got um, Wada Dang there. What up? What up? I got TT Riri here. That's um young lady that's related to um the lettuce. I don't know if you guys watched the um the what he called um uh the stoop the front stoop uh, podcast that it did is called the MB it's called the wrap up where we interview um up and coming artists and stuff like that. Uh, this is um definitely related to um to him there. So TT Riri, looking forward to meeting you one day. You know, shout out to you if you're still watching. Uh, who else we got here? You know, as you can see on the screen, whoever said there's some some names here I can't really get. So we got Man Dan, uh, Man Danroyd here, McMandanroyd. Shout out to you. <laughs> Smooth the grind. Pause. Is there no no Diddy? Got Kellum Johnson there. They got D Wolf. There. Shout out to D Wolf. What up, man? I see D Wolf in there a lot. I'll come over to YouTube, guys. If anybody's watching and coming in and out here on the Instagram page, check out the YouTube page, man. Come over here so that way I can shout you out in the chat and things of that nature, man. Uh, live respect or death. I see you there. We got Josh Earl there. We got Mike Mills. So once again, if anybody's interested, man, come over to the YouTube channel here, and uh, you know you can be a part of the chat and things of that nature, man. It's only one click. You know, YouTube is um, and Instagram are two different things. Uh, they both work on the phone. I know that. You know, so if you come over to YouTube, like I said, you can get involved in the chat and stuff like that, and I'll be able to put you on the screen a little bit better. So definitely, thank you guys for tuning in over there. Uh, but since uh, since I am live there and I have it up and I want to continue to show it, I can't really um show you my regular page, my Instagram page. Uh, let me see if I could pop up another screen here. So I know I got Instagram there. So I guess I could. So here, let me do this. Just just to, just so you guys can see. Mm -mm. So the game is back on. Ninety one to. Thanks. So the Knicks blew their free throws. Comes inside there. Josh Giddy drives. And, you know, these other teams, they get fouls right away. I just don't get it. These guys get fouls immediately. You know, the Knicks, they, we have to, like, work hard for our fouls. I just don't get it. So, anyway, if anybody's interested, interested here we go. The, the page is open. You know, I haven't posted anything since, the, as you can see, since the marathon. I actually was bigger there, bigger and much more solid there because, like I said, I was actively lifting heavy there, during this, this point here. And as you can see, I look kind of menacing <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's up. I don't know what's up with that, but I look kind of menacing here in these, in these pictures. Let me take uh, my man Tucker out of here. I look kind of menacing here, as you can see. You know, uh, sliding over, blah, blah, blah. This is me with a 315, as you can see right here. You know, it's kind of like, I did like a funny thing there because I was talking to my, to my boy and shit. I was laying there a little bit too long. As you can see, the stomach is sitting there, but I do got the 315 on the bench there. 
So he was asking me if I'm going to pull it off or not. I was talking to him. So as you can see, what are you waiting for? <laughs> I just pumped, hit that shit. Little CT Fletcher. So the Knicks just score here. So there goes 315 down on the chest. There goes 315, pushing up, pushing up. You know, a little bit of spot there just in case. You know, he didn't really take nothing off it. But, you know, that's showing you that I that I could um lift the 315. You know, as you can see, it says that I hit it for four reps the day before. So anyway, that's just proof there for guys that don't think I could hit the 315. But um, I was hitting it pretty, pretty easily um, during that time period. But anyway, Josh Hart has the rebound. It's 93 to 92. Hartenstein has it back to Josh over to Dante DiVincenzo. Pull up for three, baby. Give it to me. Uh-uh. No, he missed it. Hartenstein fighting in there. Um, OKC did a good job of protecting the paint on that rebound. Josh Giddy takes the bump there. Bogdanovich was able to swipe it out, but it's out of bounds on Bogdanovich. Good defensive play there. So I, I feel like Tom Thibodeau is riding with these guys too much. Something needs to happen. They need to make a um, substitution. Um, right now it's seven minutes and 42 seconds. I don't know what the fuck is taking um, uh, him to, uh, so long to put Brunson back in the game. Brunson needs to get back in his game right now. So I just don't understand. So Brunson finally is back in the game with seven minutes and 42 seconds. Uh, nice inbounds play there by OKC. Basically the same kind of thing. Catching a guy cutting to the basket off the inbounds. Brunson has it. OKC is up by one. OKC is up by one. Did I, did I lose something here? I lost something. I don't, uh, let me see. I lost one of my screens. Okay, see with the steal, the here goes uh, Williams you know, all the way to the basket. He's been cra going crazy today. So they're going to call a blocking foul there. He came a full head of steam. So, I mean, the, the, these refs are definitely catering to, to OKC. So I don't, I don't understand. We are playing in MSG. You know, we're not playing in a away game. And um, the Knicks are a good team. But why are the Knicks not being treated as a, as a good team? So I don't see what, what happened there. Keldon got hit for a foul, but I didn't see anybody make contact with him. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see anybody make contact with him. So what the hell is that about? Oh, yeah, yeah. Adios, meal. Adios, meal. Hey, guys. Shout out to Nike. Nike Air Force Ones are back. So uh, anybody that's, uh, that's a Nick fan, this is a big kid shoe. But if your kids like the Knicks or whatever, here goes a nice, um, you know, pitch another um, – and uh, it's gonna be Air Force One picture here with the orange trim and an uh, orange bottom. Those are dope. If I could find these in, in a grown up size, I'm definitely picking that up. You know, good to you know, I mean, this is not really a good fit for, for the orange bottoms, but um, those are dope. If you could find those for your kids, you know, see if you can get them. Shits. Let me get rid of that. So they looks like they're, they're reviewing something again. I mean, I'm tired of the refs, these NBA refs are something else. Oh, yeah, yeah. So here goes another shoe here, too. Let's take a look at this one. This one is also for kids, big kids. Uh, but it has the blue trim up top. You see the blue trim? It has a blue trim, and it looks like, I don't know if that's red in the back or orange. Let me see here. Um, looks like it might be red. So that's a little bit of red design there. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, I would change this, the, the um, laces. Change the laces to, to possibly red. Or maybe, maybe even just put blue laces up in there. You know, to add to that. Yeah, but those are big kids sneakers, though, man. You definitely got to get some. What are they talking about? So what's so the call? Defense becoming the best offense for both teams. And Williams blocked the shot on Brunson. Got the ball. Hi, yeah, yeah. So I mean, like, like I said, I'm talking about fitness right now, guys, and sneakers and shit, because there's, there's such lulls in the game due to the referees calling shit. And having to um to go to the scores table to review everything. It's annoying, man. Yeah, but this guy, um, Jalen Williams got 27 points, definitely holding him down on, on the Thunder side. Uh the Knicks side, we have five five guys in double figures there. Uh, Precious is right there with eight points. So we got um this guy Williams again here, about to get another free throw. Uh misses that one. The ball don't lie, huh? So Brunson only has 20 tonight. They got Hartenstein with 16 and 10. You got uh, Josh Hart with 12 and 11, Steven Chenzel with 14, and McBride with 13. You know, so decent game for the Knicks here. Definitely playing some good defense and stuff. But we can't stop Jalen tonight. Jalen Williams is kicking our ass. Here comes Brunson now, seven minutes and 17 seconds. I feel like the, I was complaining that Brunson wasn't in the game at 745. I felt like that was 20 minutes ago. 
I don't know what's happening out there. Brunson has it now. Being guarded by two people. Beautiful pass inside to Hartenstein. Ah, uh, he the defense there by by OKC was able to stop that play. Devin Chenzo comes inside back to Josh Hart in the same spot. Brunson has it now. Eight seconds. Brunson pulls up trying to draw the foul. Gets the the um the basket to fall. Contact and no foul. I just don't understand. Brunson is pissed, man. So how how could you get bumped like that? Make the shot and they don't call anything. I just don't understand. But meanwhile, OKC could come down and get and do whatever they want. And they keep getting the foul shots. The same thing was happening against San Antonio. So I don't know what the fuck is going on. The Knicks are, are the ones that, that are playing the great defense and going to the basket and stuff like that. But um, but there's no fouls being called. And OKC is complaining about that they're not getting free throws, but they're definitely beating us in free throws right now, if I'm not mistaken. Sheesh. They're um right now in free throws. They're uh 10 for 20. The Knicks are okay, so the Knicks are right there with them, 16 for 21. So I'm, you know, I'm talking my shit there, but I mean, it it just seems like 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 they're getting all the calls. Touchdown pass there for OKC, trying to push the ball on the Knicks. 97 and 95. Knicks got to put some points on the board here. The defense is there, you know, but they got to put some points on the board. Josh Giddy again with a spin and and win all the way to the basket. Two plays identical there. So he scored twice. Tom Thibodeau wants to call a timeout. No, he doesn't. Gives it over to Dante Divincenzo on the elbow. Brunson has it now, so Brunson's holding it. 544 now. Josh has it going towards the middle, all the way to the basket. He had a full head of steam there. Are they going to call a foul? They called a foul there. You know, so OKC is complaining that they didn't call a foul. Unbelievable. All the stuff that they're missing, I still understand. I look smooth, man. I'm looking at myself in the camera, man. I look freaking smooth. I know I did shave. You know, uh, this this um, uh, streamyard does a does a good job of smoothing out your skin. And stuff, man. But I did shave down a little bit, man. I look, I look smooth today. You know? Good job. Anyway. Let me see what else you're talking about. I mean, you know, just uh, Jay Tucker is definitely um, the MVP of the conversation today. You go, Jacko. Fuck OKC, man. No doubt. So, I mean, you know, I don't really don't like the way they play. You know, they, they got Jalen Williams doing. I like some of their players, though. You know, Giddy. I like Giddy. I like Jalen Williams. He's kicking our ass, but I like Jalen Williams. So, I mean, they do have a lot of players that I do like. Gordon Hayward I like also. Uh, Shea Gilgis is good. You know, he's a good player. Uh, Holgram, I like I like what, what what I see from Holgram. You know, so they do have players that are that are decent, you know, but as a team, the way that they play, you know, are they playing? What kind of style? I don't, I don't know what they're doing, you know, what kind of style they're playing. Uh, but they're playing good enough to get um, to be over the Knicks right now. Fourth quarter, the Knicks are, are losing the fourth quarter, twenty-four to ten, which is atrocious, man. The Knicks just basically pissed away the fourth quarter here. Um, but we still got plenty of time for the Knicks to catch up. Knicks have to put some points on the board. Right now, we're on a cold spell. We just cannot score, so Knicks got to figure that shit out. Uh, you know, if the Knicks hit a three right now, it, it'll give us ninety-eight, and the Knicks will be one one behind. If we score, a, you know, regular basket, we'll just be behind by by one basket still. You know, so um, Knicks have to make some stops. Actually, we have to put a put some put the brakes on this fast break attack here. Uh, control the ball, make some baskets, and then that should do that should put OKC away. You know, because I don't think OK OKC is really doing much to us defensively. You know, um, but the Knicks just have to uh, figure things out and, and put the ball in the basket, man. You know, if the if the Knicks can put the ball in the basket, maybe get, maybe um maybe just get two sequences down, two sequences down where we get two baskets and two stops. Um, you know, that, that should be enough to get us to get us over the hump there. You know? So we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh yeah, me and Dennis saying the same thing. We just need a little cushion, you know. You know, two stops, you know, it's definitely them definitely get two scores and two stops, you know. Maybe a flamethrower moment where we're shooting threes and making threes again. That that will help things out, help the situation. But um, it is what it is there. Says the Leafs don't want the Knicks in this game. Yeah, man. Against San Antonio, I feel like the the referees uh, were killing us there at the end. You know, against OKC. I mean, against the Spurs. But you know, uh, Thibodeau didn't really have the right mentality running. You know, with the game plan towards the end. So you can't complain too much about the refs if Tom Thibodeau wasn't doing his job there. You know, you know, with the strategy the Knicks were running at, at the end of that game. You know, so something's got to give here. This OKC team is one of those teams that give the Knicks problems where, where you have like a bunch of bums on the team that they all do the same thing and they do things decently. You know, th that's a matchup problem for the Knicks, you know. So um, that's what San Antonio did to us. That's why we lost. You know, they just give us matchup problems. Uh, OKC is the same thing. 
you know, but the Knicks, the OKC definitely has more experience at the, at the moment. So we'll see now. Josh Giddey's bringing the ball up the court. He's been running the offense pretty well here in, in the fourth quarter. Been attacking Dante, attacking Josh. Here comes OKC there. Trying to get Kale. I mean, what do they call it? A legal screen on Josh there? Where, where, um, where OKC is moving around? I, I still understand. So anyway, it looks like a foul on the floor. Energy is low here. Inbounds pass. Giddy over to Williams. Jalen Williams on the drive. And, you know, crossover, double crossover. Has a ball inside to Giddy. Passes it to him right out of bounds. But then they call a foul. I just don't see the foul. So now, now you're going to give Jalen Williams free throws now. Is that, am I, am I correct? I just don't understand where the foul is there. So it's still going to be an inbounds here. So the Knicks are not over the limit now. So I'm quite sure one more we might be over the limit. So we got OKC going to push the ball in again. 14 seconds on the shot clock. 21 has it. Over to number six. Cross court to Giddy. Giddy's wide open, man. And he knocks down the three. He's been open all fourth quarter. So 27 to 10 is atrocious, man. The Knicks are just letting this game go. 102 to 95, man. Brunson top of the key here. I know that the fans in the MSG are fucking pissed right now. Here comes uh, Jalen across the thing. Inside to Hartenstein. Hartenstein up. And just makes a layup there, but he gets fouled. He gets fouled. He got to make his free throws, man. Knicks, Knicks have to make a stop at some point. 27 to 11 is crazy in this fourth quarter. Knicks got to make a stop at some point. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, so um, Tucker is done here, but we still got time. We got a little bit less than five minutes. Not much time is getting off the clock here. Hornslide at the free throw line makes the first one. So he says, uh, uh, Dwayne Dennis says, Cavaliers lost, so we're back at the third seed. If we lose, uh, then the Cavaliers will move back in front of us to the third seed uh, by a half a game. Okay. So Nick's got to win. If if we will, if we would like to keep our standings, where our spot, we have we have to win. So Hartenstein makes both free throws here. I mean, this guy Jalen wins. Did he, did he get a, a backcourt violation? What the hell? On the inside, on the Knicks uh, missed another player. Another easy basket, unguarded there with number 21. That's Wiggins. Oh, yeah, yeah. Knicks have to get some stops. Two easy baskets there. Giddy wide open, and then he just got a nice open layup on the inside, man. We are we are freaking playing horrible right now. Brunson, crossover, finds his way into the paint. Double pumps, get his up over the rim and knocks that down. He's asking for a foul. They won't give it to him, man. 104 to 98. Giddy with a nice little crossover. Picks up this dribble, though. Gives it back up to Wiggins. Wiggins is getting into space. He loses it. He just lost it. I think maybe Brunson popped it out. Hartenstein get it. Julius, I mean, um, Jalen there yeah, is at the rim. Cross court pass there to Deuce. So Deuce is going to get three free throws, man. Wiggins uh, fouled him, definitely. So Deuce is on the floor. So Deuce got his hair braided up looking good, man. He, he, he's he been having it braided up for like this whole run that he's been having. So that's good to see. So him shooting four, but I mean the, the OKC player definitely crossed the line, you know. So they can't complain. I see them arguing that um that that uh that he that it was that he didn't foul him. But if you're jumping and you're crossing and, and your legs are in between the guy's legs, it's not because he kicked out. And you literally broke the plane and crossed over into the three-point line. So it is what it is. So I mean McBride gotta knock down all these, man. We need every basket. We cannot miss anything. We can't miss free throws at this moment, man. So he knocks down the first one, second one is up. Knocks down the second one, so that's good money. Crossing the, the century line there for to make it 100 to 104. So he's got a uh, spoiler alert. He will make the next one. So um, after doing that, the Knicks have to make a stop. We have to make a stop. We have to make this OKC um, team stop scoring. We have to put the lid on the scoring for at least two possessions, man. Give me two possessions. So here comes um, Giddy coming across the timeline. Josh is guarding him. Inside here. Who's the Shea Gilders Alexander? Post up in the paint. Fade away there. Josh Hart with the rebound. I mean, Shea just swiped that Josh. No foul call. DiVincenzo inside. Kicked it out to Brunson for a corner three. Give it to me. Off the back rim. No good. Josh Hart is fighting. Good OKC play there. So OKC was able to save it. Wow. They said out of bounds by OKC, but I thought he might have saved that. Maybe he touched the line. So they're trying to say that Josh Hart pushed them out. I don't know about that. You know? So, like I said, uh, OKC does have players that I really like, though. But I just don't really like how they're playing, really. You know? So, anyway. 
Here goes Brunson on the inbounds. Give and go back to Brunson. Hartenstein had it. Inside, try to shovel a pass inside to Hartenstein. Josh ends up with the DiVincenzo has it now. Brunson has it in the corner. Knicks are going crazy. Five seconds. Brunson has to get loose there. Crossover inside the paint. Floater misses it. Did they call, did they call a shot clock violation? No, they call a foul at the end there. So Brunson ends up with the foul. Brunson got to be careful with this slamming the ball stuff. You know, I know it's not malicious. He was just fooling around there. But you can't you can't leave things open for the refs to make a call. You know, Brunson did get a foul from behind there. Doesn't make the shot, but he will get two free throws. So here we go. So it's like it's kind of like the Knicks, um, you know, made a stop. Brunson with the first free throw. Up. Oh, that looks short. Oh, my God. He missed the free throw. So Brunson sometimes makes uh, misses clutch free throws. So it looks like we're going to tie the game. Spoiler alert. I'm at the 339 mark where Brunson is shooting free throws. So Brunson, spoiler alert, is going to make is going to make this free throw, I guess, huh? So we'll see. Are we going to get an offensive rebound? Let me see. Brunson has it, shoots it off the back rim. So he missed both free throws. So this is going to be a three point shot. Gets it over to Brunson. Get out of here. So Brunson misses two clutch free throws and then hits a clutch three. Fuck me, man. Tied one hundred four to one hundred four. Unbelievable. Three minutes and twenty five seconds here. Here goes Jalen. Jalen has been had it going. Big time steal by Deuce. So here goes the Knicks run. Josh Hart back to Brunson. Brunson stops the brakes. Got Josh Giddy guarding him. Oh, he just pulls up in front of him. Oh, in and out. Here goes Josh Hart fighting for that rebound. He lost it. Here comes Ke'on Williams. Oh, gives it a shave for a transition three. He misses it. Hartenstein with glue on his fingers. Here goes Josh. Full head of steam. Alley oop to Dante DiVincenzo. What is he thinking? What is he thinking? We're like a Ringling Brothers Brother Man Bailey Circus right now. Now here goes a transition three off of a bad play by Josh Hart, man. Why are you throwing alley oops to Dante DiVincenzo in the fourth quarter? It's a close game. Why are you throwing circus alley oops to Dante DiVincenzo, bro? And then it ends up being a, a fast break there to, for a three point shot in transition. Damn it. That's a dumb shit that RJ used to do. He goes DiVincenzo in the corner off the front rim. That's that dumb shit that RJ used to do. He goes Josh Hart with another spin. He's been doing that all game there. DiVincenzo with a steal. Come on, Knicks. Josh Hart has it. Full head of steam all the way to the basket. Tries to muscle it up. And we're going to get two free throws here. Man, Josh Hart almost pissed the fucking game away just now, man. It's plays like that that drive me fucking crazy. How could you go on a fast break and throw an alley-oop to Dante DiVincenzo at this time? Dante DiVincenzo is not Mitchell Robinson. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, I tell you, man. Josh at the free throw line misses the first one, and then we're gonna miss free throws. We're we complaining that we're not getting the fouls, and then we're missing free throws. Brunson missed two. Josh missed one. Come on, man. <sighs> Spoiler alert, I guess Josh is going to make the next one. He knocks down the next one. 2.13 in this game I'm on my clock. I'm a little, little bit behind. So Jalen Williams is coming down. We got us like right now we cannot allow OKC to score at all. Jalen with a gentleman in between the legs. Looking to give it to Shea. Shea's their 30-point scorer. David Chenzo got him one-on-one uh, -on -one here. Deuce comes in there, almost creates a steal, but then they call a foul. Unbelievable. So here we go. Shea is going to make his shot. So I had this drink here this whole time. I got another Pellegrino here. Pellegrino. This one is um, uh, dark Morello cherry and pomegranate. Whatever. It's decent. So shout out to to um Shea. He makes his free throws. Knicks can't make their free throws, and Shea and the Thunder are making theirs. That's the tail of the tape right now. Oh my God! I got a minute. Got a minute and fifty six seconds on my clock. I'm looking at a minute and thirty four seconds. Looks like the Knicks are going to score here. So here comes Brunson with the damn roll up up the up the court, top of the key, looking to figure something out. Dribbling, dribbling, fake it, gives it over to Deuce. Here goes Deuce three in the corner. Dukes knocks down a corner three. That's his bread and butter. So that's 108 to 109. Knicks have to make a fucking stop, man. Two stops, we win the game. 
Jalen Williams doing everything right in front of Brunson. Pull up jump shot, knocks that down. Sheesh. 111. So the score is 111. This um NBA scoreboard is way behind. Wow, Jalen Williams is kicking our ass today, man. Hats off to him. He go inside for Josh. Josh sidesteps. Kicks it out to the corner. Knocked out of bounds by OKC. I mean, Jalen Williams is on one, man. Definitely really good basketball player, man. You know, didn't realize didn't realize he had this in him, but he definitely does. Pause. No diddy. He goes Brunson. Well, I got holding that ball. Hartenstein with the screen there. Looking to give a give and go. Back out to Deuce. Deuce to DiVincenzo. Pull up for three. Give it to me, baby. Misses it. No good. Josh Hart there to hug him. Oh, my God. One minute left in this game. No stops are being made. No stops are being made. Deuce has it. Just what does I mean? Um, Shea has it. Just blowing time on the, on the court. Step back jump shot in front of Brunson off the front rim. DiVincenzo with the three. So they're gonna say Josh. Um, um, Josh Giddy just fouled Dante. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So is OKC in the penalty? If they're in the penalty, Dante's gonna get two free throws. So Dante's gonna get two free throws. It seems now. So he got. It goes without saying. A guy's gonna make their free throws. Tom Thibodeau's talking there. I don't know if we're getting fouls here. We should get fouls. They go Dante's at the line. So, yes. Give me two free throws, Dante. You have to make both of these free throws. Make both these free throws. It makes a, it gives us a one-point um, um, lead for OKC. First free throws up. And he misses it. Motherfucker. He misses another, another free throw. Holy shit. Holy shit. Brunson missed two free throws. Come on, man. We're just going to continue to miss free throws. What the fuck is going on? Man, David Chenzo almost missed the next one. It's still a one-possession game here now. OKC is up. David Chenzo falls on the floor. Here goes Jalen. Jalen got it going, man. Dante is holding his arm and everything. So, so David Chenzo's getting pissed, but he literally held his arm, man. What are we doing? Watch this. Steven Chenzo just grabs his arm. Steven Chenzo literally grabbed his arm, man. Uh, so there goes Jalen with free throws. First one is up. And he misses that. So here we go with the drama. First free throw is missed. Is he going to miss two? It looks like he might miss two. Holy shucks. This kid number 22 has been pretty playing pretty good, man. I think that's Isaiah, um, Isaiah, uh, what's his name? Isaiah Joe. 11, 111 to 109. Is he going to miss the second free throw? It looks like he's going to miss the second free throw. So the Knicks have an opportunity to, to actually try to tie this game. But I'm looking ahead here. Josh Hart with the rebound. Man, the Knicks are, are, are like walking that tightrope. We're going to get to 27 seconds there, and the time is going to stop. So I wonder what's going to happen here. Brunson has it. Brunson is looking, spinning and winning. Free throw line, fadeaway, no good. Who's it? It says it's going to be next ball. 14 seconds. So we got a timeout. Are we calling timeout right now? That That's why there's, there's a lull in the game right now. So are we calling timeout? Knicks are calling timeout? So Knicks are calling timeout right now. Let me see if I can get this a little closer. Knicks are calling timeout. Man, so I mean, the Knicks are, the Knicks are acting like they don't want to win. OKC look like they're going to pull away, and then they do something that's unbelievable, man. So I don't know. So I'm, I'm at the 27-second uh, um, um, mark. Uh, we're just starting the timeout now. So, um, you know, I'm trying not to get a spoiler alert by looking at the score here. Um, but um, the Knicks have to figure something out. The Knicks usually um, do really well on the inbounds plays after timeouts. So we'll see what happens here. 111 to 109, um, you know, the Knicks have to tie the score. If we're gonna have back to back overtime um, games here, fine, you know. But we cannot, we cannot come out of this game just losing this game straight up. You know, we have to try to win this game. Home run shots? I don't. I'm not for the home run shots right now. I just want to get a two. Give me a two, and then let's see what OKC is gonna do right now. This guy Jalen Williams definitely got it going big time. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
but the Knicks got to do that. They got to handle their business right now. And and one an and one layup will be fantastic. Um, we'll we'll see what happens here. So I'm just coming back from the from the timeout. Um, I'm quite sure you guys are ahead of me here. Oh my god. I just don't want to see OKC get any more um, time on this clock here. I, I mean, I don't want to see them get any more points. So here we go. Knicks inbounds. It looks like the Knicks are going to fail on the inbounds pass, huh? Dante has it. Looks like the OKC is stacking the paint here. Gets it over to Deuce. Back to Brunson. Brunson takes a Hartenstein screen. Brunson jab step. Oh, crossed over on a hole. He falls to the floor. Double pump, left-handed shot, and they call a foul. Damn, we needed him to make that. We definitely needed Brunson to make that. If he made that, that would have been excellent because we got the foul. You know, so he goes, Brunson, I see the I see one free throw up now. Is Brunson going to miss another free throw? My goodness, man. I got a feeling he's going to miss this first one. He's only three for six tonight. Here's a clutch free throw. He's going to miss the first one, I think. First one is up. Come on, man. Up, 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 up. Knocks the first one down. So that gives me 10. So a lot of time is going up. I don't see the game tied yet. So th does that mean Brunson is going to miss the next free throw? What's going on here? It's taking a long time. Brunson's next free throw here. Is somebody else going to call a timeout? What is taking so long? So I, I think Brunson is going to miss this one. Brunson is going to miss this one, I think. Because I see 12 seconds. Next free throw, he missed it. Hardenstein with the rebound. Over to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo for three. Misses it in and out. Knicks are fighting. Looks like it's still going to be Knicks ball. 12.1 seconds left. Oh, my God. So close, man. Hardenstein was right there to swallow up that offensive rebound. De um, Deuce McBride not afraid to get in there. Uh, looks like Tom Tibble is calling another timeout, huh? Oh, my goodness. So we got a little timeout. So it looks like the Knicks took the lead. Spoiler alert. So I hate that. Let's, let's see what happens. So inbounds pass. No timeout. It goes Deuce. Deuce has it. Over to Brunson. Brunson has it. Screen. Looking for teammates. Brunson all the way inside. Layup left in hand. Knocks that down. Takes the lead. 4.1 seconds here. So the OKC guy is going to roll around. And they uh, he definitely got a foul. No foul call? Unbelievable. How is there no foul? All that contact, no foul call? There has got to be something uh, something's going on here. There must be a memo right now not to give the Knicks fouls. There's got to be a league-wide memo right now saying the Knicks should not get fouls, man. So Brunson is clapping the refs, cheering for the refs. Look at this on the drive. Drive, drive, all the way up. Look at the contact. No foul? No, how is that no foul call? How is that a no call? That is garbage, dude. How is there not a foul call here? Look at the look at the um look at the um the contact. How is that not a foul? That should be an and one, man. That, uh, are they saying that Brunson flopped? That is a fucking and one. So the, the referees are always reviewing shit. Are they reviewing this play? I see both teams are in the timeout. Are the referees reviewing the play right now? That should be of and one. Man, this shit is garbage, dude. Look at these fucking whores on the, in the, in the thing. You know, shout out to, to all my ladies out there. You know what I'm saying? But you know the difference between a lady and, and what, what that is there. Oh, my God. That should have been a foul. That is ridiculous, yo. There's no way we're in we're in Madison Square Garden and and um the star player can't get a foul call on him like that is unrealistic. So here we go, four point one seconds here. What is okay? I see this. I see the time stopped. So don't tell me OKC is getting free throws at this moment. Yes, they're getting free throws. Let me see what happened. Here goes um, Giddy here. Fade away. They call a foul there? Oh, no. He, he hit a jump shot. Oh. So he hit a clutch jump shot, Shay. Fade away, turn around, jump shot. 
So the Knicks have a chance to, to get the lead here. 1.8. It's going to be tough. But damn, man, this is going to be tough. Man, another freaking smoker right here where the Knicks could have won against San Antonio and we're going to lose against OKC, it seems like. At 1.8, like I said, the Knicks usually do a good job of, of, of inbounding, you know, getting good inbound plays there. But 1.8 seconds, that's really enough just to get a, maybe a couple dribbles and a shot up. So, um, you know, I'm, I got the spoiler alert right in my face, so I don't know what's going to happen here. Big time clutch shot by Shea Gilders Alexandra. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. He was quiet all game, but you let let these sleeping dogs lie, man. The motherfucker's gonna hit a clutch shot. So I mean, I I'm so nervous. I got the I got the the spoiler right in my face, so I'm gonna see it before the the play is called. Oh my god. Um, thirteen to twelve, one point eight seconds. Plenty of time to get a proper shot off, man. Plenty of time. So I mean, it should be a tie game at least because because Brunson should have got a shot. But if Brunson would have got that free throw, then it would have been a different situation. So are the Knicks going to lose? Looks like the Knicks are going to lose. End of the fourth. Knicks lost this game. Damn, son. So I don't even want to see the, the end of this game. Unbelievable, man. The refs are fucking suck, man. The refs suck. It is what it is. So we lost two games back to get back to back. San Antonio and the Spurs um, beat us the night before with a double with an overtime um, loss there where, where um, we had no, we weren't getting no calls. What's happening here? Imbalance here. Even Chenzo. Can't get the ball inbounds. Finally gets it over to Brunson, and Brunson had a horrible shot. So just a bad inbounds play. Could not get any. Could not get the right um, angle there, and we end up losing this game. Shot, had tipped off to Shea. Beautiful shot there at the end. Jalen uh, Williams absolutely did a good job there. You know, it would be nice to see if we can get Jalen Williams. Very good basketball player. How tall is Jalen Williams? This guy Jalen Williams, man, was kicking our ass. He's um he's only six foot five, and he's playing forward. He looks bigger than that, you know. But a really good basketball player, man. My hats off to that kid. Um, but Knicks could not get the ball in bounds, man. We found Brunson, you know, and he turned around, jump shot, still able to hit the rim. But man, what a way to lose! Knicks were not able to get loose here. Unbelievable. They didn't even set a screen for Brunson to get open or nothing. It's just ridiculous to me. So anyway, Knicks lose this game, man. I don't even want to fucking talk about it, man. Go find your favorite, um, uh, go find your favorite uh, post game show person, man, and go and go talk to them, man. What a fucking bullshit game. So here goes Brunson talking to the refs, man. You fucking dicks. You know, talking to these guys professionally. Look at look at look at um Gucci Mane. You fucking cocksucker. Fuck those guys, man. You know, at, at least Brunson was able to talk to talk to them, um, you know, respectfully there at the end. You know, the guys blew the fucking calls. You know. So I mean, I mean, are they are they gonna take some some vacation days away from these fucking guys, man? It's ridiculous. So anyway, I hate losing games like this, man. You know, where, where it comes down to one one or two little things, and the referees, you know, do whatever. But the Knicks, you know, nothing you could do, man. Thirty eight to twenty seven in this fourth quarter, that's a nightmare. You know, so they basically did to us what we did to them. We we scored thirty nine in the third. They only scored twenty five. Fourth quarter, they put it on us. Thirty eight to twenty seven. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So the Knicks uh, missed a lot of opportunities defensively at the end, and um, that's what put us in a in position here uh, for, for us to, to uh, sit here and uh, lose this game here at the Garden. Garbage, man. But anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. These Knicks fucking piss me off. So basically, Tucker's been with me all night. You know, thank you, thank you Tucker, for keeping me company. Uh, he says I'm tight. Listen, man, no no ditty. But I'm up out of here. It's your boy, e -Roo. I don't know if we want to clap cheeks or anything tonight, but yeah, let's do that. Let's have some something happy right now. So if you feel like clapping your cheeks, um, you know, no, um, no ditty. Uh, let's get busy with the diehard Knicks um outro, man. Peace, guys. Four fingers to the forehead, tuck of the thumb. Salute, diehard on the head, nothing on the chest. See you next time, guys. Peace. Hero, I see you. Diehard. Trap. We gonna do this one the right way. Uh. We in here forever. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Die hard, homie. Die hard. You can check the swag. He the realest by far. Swimming in that blue and orange. He the lifeguard. Yeah, he been through pain. At least he got some nice scars. He can smell the trophy. Yeah, he need it back to back. 
represent himself His own name is on his back Ten toes down, try to stop him, he come back Bandwagon hoppers, he will knock you off your tracks You ain't saying nothing, Nero been here from the start He been working in the lab to take his team and make it art See him going over film to help him build and make him smart He will tell you how he feels because he's real and he got heart He will never fade away, he will never change his face Everybody picking face and he's feeling out of place Cause he is for the team and he always rough the squad Like that Christmas movie, he gon' always die huh. City on my back They ask me what's my name and it is on my back I'm just speaking facts I'm just speaking facts We got big dreams, we ain't looking back We be really die hard, yeah, that's a fact We be really die hard, ain't no going back Make the whole crowd rise like a thermostat Fourth quarter, I'm the killer that's gonna murder that Yo, shout out to Black Jack Ryan in the, in the in the in the chat here. That's pretty awesome. You know, big fan of Black Jack Ryan. You can see him there, Black Jack Ryan number twenty one. Thank you, good. Thank you for popping in, taking a look, man. If you if you stay for to the end, you know that's pretty dope. So anyway, shout out to the legend, Black Jack Ryan. He rules out. Peace, guys.